Right, this is just a short video to show what I'm going to do with my X Arcade control panel, which was kindly donated to me from Jonas in Europe. Thank you very much, mate. As you can see, I've still taken very good care of it. And what I'm going to do is, as you can see, it's got lots of buttons. It's got a big trackball in the middle, one and two players start. But there's one thing that's missing. What is it? That's right, it's the spinner. I need a spinner to play Tempest and Arkanoid and all that type of thing. And unfortunately, this particular model doesn't come with a spinner. So uh, a little bit frustrating, but hey, it was a freebie anyway, so um, can't complain. But this is what it's like before. And uh, I'm just going to open her up from behind and, ooh, uh, and show you the inside of this beast and what I have done to it, what I'm about to do. So see you there in a second. Right, here's inside the big beast, the XRK uh, control panel. As you can see, there's a lot going on. We've got a circuit board there, all the dip switches of the, um, not dip switches, the micro switches of the joystick, and then we've got the buttons on the side, we've got, uh, which I don't really use, we've got buttons over here on the back, we've got buttons on the side again, we've got the massive trackball um, slot there, which is like an oversized American pool ball, which I haven't used yet. And this is the lead for the X uh, for the for the uh, trackball. Sorry, but the trouble is, it, it's very lumbersome. It's heavy and it's always in the way. So what I thought, what I did was I actually drilled shock horror in the back of this. You see, there's a groove. I actually missed it there with the side of the drill, but I've touched that up and it's on the bottom anyway. So who cares? But I've done a little slot there. So the idea is that lead will go into there like that. And all this lumbersome lot can just sit inside. Perfect. Now, what I wanted to do with this machine, as I said, was put a spinner in. Now, I could have drilled a 28 millimeter, 28 millimeter hole. Um, there's a bit of a limited space here. Same as here. I could have put it in the top. I didn't really, really want it in the top left. And that is the top left once you turn the machine over. I wanted it in the top right, but there's a circuit board, so I couldn't do that. There was one other place I could have put it here, but um, it's too big to fit and it's very awkward. So I decided instead of drilling a great big bloody hole, I'd take one of the buttons out, which was one of, uh, let me just see where it is. One of these, as you can see, traditional arcade button and the micro switch sits at the end there. I've removed that and I have put the spinner. There you go. That is a... Um, lovely spinner very very expensive I don't know why they're so expensive but they are and the lead as you can see goes around here I've put it in very gently with a, a nail holder so it's not going anywhere there's no slack there at all it's stiff as anything there's the USB circuit board tiny little thing which is actually just off the wood and then there's the lead that goes into the laptop to play main now what I've done instead of having the lead come straight out into a sharp angle I fed it through under all the other wires, it goes round the back, under here, under all the other wires, duct taped it, a bit more duct tape there, and then it comes out here into another groove that was drilled, and also there's super glue gel under that, so that isn't going anywhere, that is stiff as concrete. And there's the lead, there's the USB lead which goes into the laptop, that's for the spinner. And that's the other lead that controls all the buttons. Obviously I wanted a spinner to play Tempest. Um, you can play it on, on the controller, but it's just not the same, you need a spinner. Now also it came with a 260 kilo, uh, sorry, 226 um, gram weight here. Huge and heavy. And even if I wanted to, it wouldn't fit because it's too close to the wood unless I use one of the other buttonholes. But you try putting, playing Tempest for an hour, put the cheats on. If you want to play all 100 levels of Tempest, it's almost a two hour game. And that weight, when you're constantly spinning it like that with your hand, eventually your wrist is going to kill you. And it wasn't until I actually put Tempest on, I realized I don't even need a weight because the spinner without the weight you just do that, you might hear that. It still spins plenty of times. And with Arkanoid, you just go left and right. 
Tempest, you, you're, more, you're more like this. I'll show you when I got the machine round. So I decided not to put a weight on it, and it's much more comfortable to the uh, to the wrist. So what we do now is everything is in place. We stick this wood, the back panel, back on, and that slots in lovely. Absolutely perfect. Just do that one there. Boom, thank you. And as you can see, the lead comes out. It's not moving at all. We've got this lead here, which is the track ball, and that's hidden away now, so it's not hanging out. Absolutely perfect. So let's turn her over and uh, check it out, the final product. Right, now we have the finished product. And as you can see, Jonas, the man that donated his big monster to me, we've got our spinner. And it moves lovely. So now I can play my Tempests, my Arkanoid, and this can actually be removed. There's two Allen keys, uh, Allen um, bolt thingies, nuts, one on each side. And that can be removed, and a little mini steering wheel can be put in its place to play things like Outrun, Super Sprint, that kind of stuff. So I thought, well, I didn't really fancy drilling a great big hole in one of these areas but um, I thought I might have had to however I sat down and realized well I only use these six buttons these don't ever get used same as here um, and that's a cr that's my credit button and most most arcade games have either three or six buttons so that's my credit button and I thought well instead of drilling another hole I just remove one of the buttons I don't use and put the spinner in there. Now the way to get this fitted perfectly without, let's, have a look, let's see if I can bring it around here, without it um, having any kind of wobble, as you can see that's absolutely smooth, is I placed four razor blades, well not razor blades, four Stanley blades, two on each side, stacked on top of each other underneath, and then this sat on top, and I gradually tightened both sides, one there, one there, sorry, and one there gradually tightening them on both sides so it becomes level and now as you can see it spins lovely so as far as tempest goes that would be my fire button that would be my zapper and then i can finally play tempest how it's supposed to be instead of playing it with a ps3 controller which is okay but it's because there's no inertia on it unlike a spinner it's very hard to aim down the correct lanes the lanes that you want to get down that you want to shoot down so with a spinner that cures all that so now I've got the buttons got a track ball which I haven't used yet and uh, a spinner now as I was saying the um, the lead because I don't play track ball games very often uh, the lead was hanging off the back and it was very very lumbersome and clumbersome and just heavy so as you can see I've drilled a little hole there and all that lead instead of dangling at the front uh, sorry at the back here a big lump tied with elastic band and tie clips um, is now actually inside the machine so if I actually do want to play a track ball game all I've got to do is just take the back off and get the lead out easy and there's the lead to the now fitted um, spinner just there see so basically these fit on the laptop that goes in my laptop and the other one goes in for the laptop so and then that'll be the spinner that'll be the fire buttons and then I can play Tempest absolutely fantastic and we're gonna boot that up now Tempest and show you what it's like in working form but I didn't attach the flyweight because it's basically like opening a safe when you play Tempest you're going like that you're not constantly spinning it a thousand times and as you can see that's still spinning now without any flyweight so Try playing Tempest for an hour and a half. If you're good enough, or you put the cheats on and play Tempest all the way through, that takes about two hours. Now, playing two hours like this, with a great big flyweight at the end, eventually it's going to really start hurting your wrist, and you have to keep swapping hands over, so it's not very comfortable. But that's got no weight on it at all, and that feels great. So there we go, and that's especially for you, Jonas, your little baby that you sent to me all the way from Europe has now had a facelift. And it's got a beautiful beauty spot right there lovely so let's see what it's like in action playing tempest right now we're going to have a go at tempest with this new spinner 
which is right there as you can see that's going to be uh, the fire button that's going to be the zapper now I'm not going to play too well with this it's just to give you an example of how well this plays now um, because I'm using a camcorder to use one hand so let's just get a credit in let's get the start button and then I can choose, I can put the cheat on and go way up the other levels but we're going to start level 1, now look at that it spins beautifully and there's no flyweight or anything on it so it spins round without any flyweight whatsoever and I think it's absolutely, it, it feels fantastic Feel absolutely perfect. It plays wonderful, and this is going to be a joy to play. I'm going to put the cheats on later on and play all 100 levels, and I should record that as well and upload it on my channel at some point. But as you can see, it it spins enough times just letting it go like that much better than the control pad the control pads alright but it, it's just not accurate and it doesn't have any inertia which is what you need which makes it very difficult to get down any of the lanes so yep yeah, I'm as you can see once again thank you Jonas for the Axe Arcade board which was a lovely gift but the sad thing is what uh, they didn't include which would have topped it all off was a spinner so I had to put one on myself and there she is lovely lovely quality so there you go a spinner is now attached to my um, XRK boards I'm very happy about that and I can now play Tempest the way it was supposed to be and I am very looking forward looking very very forward indeed to play in this game um, in the next couple of days I calculate it takes about an hour maybe an hour and a half to complete the entire game but I'm going to have the bloom levels up as well so it's nice and glowy I'm very happy with this uh, mod that I've done it so thanks very much for tuning into that that's the uh, uh, um, modification to my XRK board and I'm very chuffed with the outcome so thanks for tuning in